Scripture, the finest frontier. These are the voyages of Skylab Omega, its five-month mission to spread the gospel across the galaxy, to share God's love with civilization, to boldly go where one Savior has gone before. Come with us now as we blast through the Bible with Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. Hey kids, Lieutenant Dan Sonic Cloud reporting for duty. Today is a very important day. Today, we make our first contact with the space station on planet Jerusalem. Incoming message. Uh -oh. Incoming message. Incoming message. Planet Earth. <sighs> Greetings, Skylab Omega. Admiral Angel, we weren't expecting to hear from you. This is an historic day. Yeah. I have arranged a visit with Ambassador Nofutu from planet Jerusalem. Where is... Commander Cosmos. Oh, he hurt his leg, and so today's the day he's having his laser surgery. Well then, it's up to you. Up to it's me. It's very important that you make the ambassador feel welcome upon arrival. I'll shake his hand. Which should be in about five seconds. Wait, five seconds? I don't have time to learn Over the ways of his people and, and his customs. Oh man, he's gone now. What do I do? Uh, should I stand like this? Arriving. Or, or like this? No, it's too five, formal. Uh, four. Like that? Three. No, it's, right. Two. One. Oh, okay. Hello! Happy Christmas! Merry Easter to you! Um, hello! You must be the Commander Cosmos! Well, actually, I am the Lieutenant Dan Sonicler. <laughs> oh, and then I greet you and bring you salutations. Booga, booga, booga. Kongaloosh! Oh, well, a uh, well, uh, kongaloosh to you and a big skadoosh! <laughs> I like you! Oh. I will call you my friend. I will put you in my pocket and feed you gummy bears all day long. Well, I don't know that I'd fit in your pocket. Oh, oh look! What does this do? Oh, Whee! Ambassador, don't touch that. That is the ship's control. Oh, <laughs> well, don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, I guess you're right. Where does this go? Oh, Ambassador, don't go up there. That oh. is the security center. It's, it's not safe to touch things up there. Well, a penny saved is a penny earned. Uh, I'm not sure I know what you mean. <laughs> what is this? It's a music box. It's the, it's the Bible. It's a music Bible! Actually, it's God's Word. Oh, this is God's Word? Yeah. Outstanding! Who is God? Oh, well, God is the king that we all worship. Well, I want to know this king better. Here, read me his book. Oh, well, I can't read you the whole thing, but I can't explain it to you. <gasps> Wait a minute, what does this remind me of? The good old days? No! <gasps> it reminds me of, 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 of Peter. And the, uh, and the, uh, and the Ethiopian. Oh, well, who is this fellow you speak of? <laughs> well, he was a follower of Jesus. Oh, excellent. Who is Jesus? Oh, you don't know who Jesus is? Well, well Jesus is the son of God. Oh, is Jesus in this book? Yeah. Jesus, come out, come out wherever I, you are. Oh, I want no, to well, meet well, he's, you. He's in the book, but, but that's not how you meet Jesus. Oh. He lives in our hearts, and we know him through the Holy Spirit. Ooh. You don't know who the Holy Spirit is, do you? Well, how can I know unless someone explains it to me? <gasps> that's just what the Ethiopian said. Hooray, I am an Ethiopian. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you're not an Ethiopian, but I sure do feel a whole lot like Philip, which is what I was trying to say before. Oh, you sure don't look a whole lot like Philip. <laughs> well, the Ethiopian was sitting along the side of the road, mm -hmm. and he was reading the Bible, but he didn't understand what it meant. What a coincidence. I don't understand anything. <laughs> what do we do now, Dr. Phil? Oh, well, we should access the virtual Bible, and I'll find out what Philip did. Yes, bring on the vertical Bible. <laughs> All right. All right, the virtual Bible says, then Philip began with that very passage of scripture and told him the good news about Jesus. <gasps> that must be it. God wants me to teach you about the good news about Jesus. There is good news? Oh, yeah, the best news ever. Well, what is this good news, my gummy bear-eating friend? <laughs> <laughs> well, God loved the world so much that he sent his only son to be our savior. Hooray! 
Jesus is the greatest savior ever in the whole universe. Yeah. Uh, what is a savior? Oh, a savior is someone who, who takes away our sins. Oh. And that's just what Jesus did. He took away our sin. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for taking away our sins. Yeah. Uh, what is a sin? Oh, well... A sin is when you do wrong in the eyes of God. Oh, we don't want that. Oh. No, Jesus, you take away those, not the bad sins. <gasps> well, that's just what Jesus will do, and so much more with the Word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Oh, Ambassador, no food too. There's so many. There's so many wonderful things I need to teach you about Jesus. <laughs> He'll change your life forever. Hooray! Jesus changes! Oh, no, no, no. Jesus changes us, but Jesus never changes. What does oh. the Bible say, kids? Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Oh, I like this. Jesus is the same next week, last Tuesday, and two days from now. Oh, that's but, close. I'll take okay. you down to the media center, and, and I'll teach you everything I know about Jesus. Okay! To the media sensor! Bye, kids! What is a media sensor? Well, it's a center. It's center. A